Transeptal puncture is a crucial element of many structural heart interventions on the left heart. And it's a relatively difficult procedure if you don't understand well the anatomy and you don't know which part of the septum should be punctured in the individual uh, case and individual procedure. So let's have a look how we can uh, train it uh, or teach it in uh, Mr. Timothy simulator. Here I have the bicaval view with the superior vena cava on the right hand side and the inferior vena cava on the left hand side. Of course we can see some um, artifacts in the right atrium. Remember that this is a CT uh, derived image and you can occasionally see some echoes of the non-contrasted blood in the right cardiac chambers but it does not affect our training because what we really need is the true anatomy which this model provides. So in bicaval view, we can um, check how far we are from each of the vena cava. So here I will put the markers on the uh, upper and lower vena cava uh, location and I can connect those markers with the line. Then I will turn my uh, plane to 60 degrees to see the short axis view of the uh, septum uh, together with the aortic valve and the posterior wall of the uh, left uh, atrium. So here I can see that if I want to do the puncture I have to be far from the aorta and not too close to the posterior wall of the left atrium of course. Then I go to zero degrees and I try to obtain the mitral view uh, image retroflexing the probe to obtain the longest possible uh, distance from uh, the mitral annulus to the free wall of the left atrium. And then I select the third plane which is showing you the so-called height of the uh, puncture above the mitral valve. For the mitral clip procedure, for example, we have to puncture the septum approximately 4 cm from the annulus, so we can measure the distance, like I do now. So the best possible uh, puncture site for this given patient should be approximately here, and I mark it with the green marker. Now let's have a look in the 3D how this looks like if we look at the mitral valve together with the septum in the 3D space. So now I'm activating the 3D and here is my fossa ovalis and my mitral valve. I'm increasing the gain to obtain the best possible image for this given situation. And I also will rotate the Z axis to have mitral valve down and we can see that the mitral valve opens nicely here. So this is the commissure. Uh, here is the aorta. And my green point is the proposed puncture site for this valve. So you see we are at safe distance between the aorta and the free wall of the left atrium. So the yellow markers uh, show us that. And we are also far enough from the, um, from the outer part of the uh, atrium here. And we are far from uh, superior and inferior vena cava. So probably the yellow uh, is the very nice point to go into the valve and then we'll be able to enter the valve coaxially without any oblique uh, penetration uh, creating some problems during navigation. This is the way how you can use the Mr. Timothy software and hardware to teach uh, the interatrial septum puncture.